And two quarterbacks, Roy, probably playing the best football of their football lives. And King was absolutely off the charts last week. Derek King coming off a record-setting performance, over 500 total yards, five passing touchdowns. ACC quarterback of the week for the Houston transfer. He's got quite a story to tell in 2020. But on the field, Kelly, he has been nothing short of electric. Miami is going to go as fast as possible when they're in rhythm as they are early in this one. Little trickeration back to King. He wants to go deep. And the contested pass is going to be reeled in. Trickeration early, and you have a great decision maker at the end. Brevin Jordan back after missing the last three games. A great sign for fans of the Hurricanes. The tunnel screen. Canes ranked inside the top ten of the country. Only lost against the four-man front. And King buys some time as he sails that pass. Decided he wanted to transfer to Miami the night of the national championship game in January. As the flip out. Ended last year believing that he needed leadership in his quarterback room, and King has been that for sure. And some of the swagger. Big ways in Rhett Lashley's offensive scheme. On third down, here comes the pressure. King avoids it and floats a pass incomplete. Looking for him against number one for the U. And Hewitt from his defensive tackle position gets loose, and that's one of the keys to this game. You know that Virginia tends to work with. Canes fake the field goal in their first possession. Brevin Jordan out in the flats. as two of the best tight ends in the country. We look at the unit overall between Will Mallory and Brevin Jordan as King will rush for first down yardage. And Will Mallory on the field at the same time. King will take off. And a nine yard. On second and eight. I'd say the field's going fairly well so far. It's another first down into plus territory. Eight of 15. And here comes more tempo. King back to pass. And a short game. Jeremiah Payton, second, six tackles for the Hokies. Big play here on third and long. Pressure up the middle. King flung down and sacked. Remember, the teams understand that Virginia Tech is really dynamic at the defensive. Long field goal attempt. Hurricanes will have decent field position. No one ever do that with a player like De'Ara King. On first down, the slant was there. King coming off. 400-yard passing performance at NC State. Pocket collapses. Down he goes. Who else? Stewart doing a great job of taking advantage of one-on-one -on -one situations up inside. There is so much attention paid to Justice Reed. And then Reed goes inside. Paired off every year since 1992. Even in 2020, that streak stays alive. Pressure off the edge. King gets rid of it. And it'll save it. But it's the edge pressure Virginia Tech is getting on King that's making a difference now. Hokies have been the more physical bunch so far. King clings it. That's caught. D. Wiggins has it. That's his. In every play, it's a little less aggressive with Justin Hamilton currently. And Miami with no explosive plays so far. And now all of a sudden you're rather green on the back end. King will keep it. He'll pick up the first down and a nifty spin move brought down at the 47. Out of King's hands. On the design quarterback draw, King will take off. We asked Red a little more patient by playing a little softer. It certainly makes sense as King sends it. First down, nifty move. Wants to see very often. Tempo again for the Canes. Screen pass to Pope, spun out at the... It's really about giving the ball to playmakers out in space. We're seeing that now. Time for King. Floats one deep. And a dangerous toss sails out of bounds. Are they going to call that a carriage along the far side? But Wiggins got a foot down, it appears. I think Wiggins did get that left foot down. And what a throw by King. No replay the longest play from scrimmage today for Miami. And there goes King to the edge. De'Ara King to the pylon for the easy touchdown. Stunning. 
It's the fake inside, it's the pass outside, it's a power run that's designed to go inside, and then it's athleticism that gets... Play in our first half, De'Ara King working more of his magic on the road in the King session for the U. Kelly. Yeah, and the two plays are really De'Ara King in a nutshell. The tough throw to get it in before the safety can get over, over top of the underneath coverage, and then all of the decision-making on the touchdown. Under three to play in the first. King with all kinds of time, heaves one deep, and the far sideline toss is incomplete. Wiggins blanking. On high safety, you get press coverage outside. Murray on Higgins, and if you're Miami, you want to take that every time as Higgins goes head most. <laughs> Straight into the heart of the kicking net. Mike Harley on the tunnel screen, a first down for Miami. Chemistry these last three contests. And Harley's been somewhat quiet, but this is what's like that on the smoke screen. It's a gain of 17 yards. King with plenty of time. And now Just that are giving the offense fits currently. Knight motions back into the backfield. King will fake it his direction. And outstanding coverage by Diaz. Empty backfield for De'Ara King. Fires a strike, pass is caught. Sticks will move, that's Will Mallory. His In that zone, and King gets it to him on time. 90 seconds remaining in the first. King across the middle, contested throw, and nearly picked off. And he posts from the backside, and Wiggins got a step inside, and then watch the close by Murray. Don't grab the back of the receiver. Well, De'Ara King, we mentioned this earlier, electing to transfer out of Houston after four sensational years there for the Cougars program. Coaching change there near the end. It was the night of the national championship game. He posted a note on social media, I've entered the portal, I think it's best for me and my family. That was back on January 13th. And then unexpectedly, his father, Eric King, passed away due to a heart attack in early February, really sent shockwaves through the King family. His mom battled back from breast cancer and was officially announced cancer-free in April. She rang the bell, and it's been an emotional 2020, as many have documented. And many also don't know that King lost another person close to him just a week ago, and a former Houston teammate, Kadarian Smith. And he told us this week that was just as painful as just about anything I've dealt with. But he keeps a smile. Eric Hewitt back on the field. His arm kind of bolted down to provide support under a minute to play on third and six. King sent backwards and down he goes. Costly mistake for the Miami offense. And Barno is that negative play waiting to happen for Virginia Tech. And it's somewhat what we expected. Two quarterbacks that have been efficient and actually effective on a couple of drives. Again in the second. Now somebody get me E. Woods Taylor on the phone. I don't know if that's houndstooth or what the pattern is, Augusta National. Pope in motion after the first down pickup. Plenty of time for De'Ara King. He'll send one deep. And a man-to-man -man battle. Field. Kane's back to work. So is King. Deep ball. Batted away. Who else? Out of the field has been strong for Virginia Tech. And King diagnoses the press man coverage outside on Wiggins. And Chapman right at the very end. If you're in press coverage and you see the taillights of the receiver, don't panic. A junior Chapman, just a sophomore. And now it's third down for Miami. Here comes pressure. King, lasso down, and that's going to be another sack for Virginia Tech. Movement. They've given them straight rush. And here, as we'll see him at the nose guard position, he goes right around the guard, and De'Ara King scrambles right into it. And the Gators, of course, led by Kyle Trask, who just happens to be great friends with De'Ara King. Going back to their time as teammates at Manville High School in Texas, Trask backed up King, and the two continue to work out together to this very day. And Trask right now. Five minutes into our second half, King with plenty of time. And incomplete. And Eric Wood talked about Virginia Tech defensively throwing everything in the kitchen sink at Miami's offense. And this is why is Virginia Tech holding up impeccably well today. Pressure. King forced to throw it early. Fair share of those on the back end. 
Kane's 4 of 10 on third down. They need 10 yards here. King off the pump fake. Down he goes. He'll in man coverage on the outside, and then we get after King with extra bodies. Holyfield is going to be the outside linebacker that comes up inside. And then guess who's there? Jared. Good stuff for number 25, Hewitt, today. And he made a point to tell us that yesterday. Virginia Tech was my dream offer. Hewitt coming to school as well. Harley in motion on second and 10, the RPO. The slant is there, and that's a first down for Miami. You have a dynamic quarterback run pass option. It's essentially a play action pass. Fifth catch for Wiggins. Flag on the field on another pitch and catch. That's Jeremiah Payton. Wow, that's a good question. Defense number 41, penalty be accepted. Five yards, first down. Under five to play in the third. King flings it deep. Pass is caught inside the 30. D. Wiggins, another reception. And Miami being efficient on this drive. It's a hitch corner combination, and King goes to the right play. Do you have a corner to Wiggins? That should be a layup for Miami. And it was. Pocket collapses. King flung around. Spun down, and down he goes. I don't understand the insistence on drop back passing out of Miami. And the difference is the defenders that are rushing after King don't have to. Kickers in the ACC. Jose Borgales. King under duress. Close to the line. To but it seemed to me that Wiggins may come up just a little bit short. That ball was always in the right arm. And then Wiggins got knocked backwards. For it. Receiver did not make the line to gain. It'll be fourth down. One half yard to go. The 21 and a half yard line. The ball be placed in the middle of the field. Similar demeanors for Taylor and Hendon Hooker, a.k.a. Smooth. Good drive for De'Ara King. To the edge. We'll keep it on the ground. He's three or four passing, Kelly, on this play. If so, King should have the ball in his hands. And he does. The quick toss to the tight end, Will Mallory. And he's got two. Trailing by five, a chance to make it a field goal affair. The throwback. Looking for the big man touchdown towards the pylon, and it is unavailable. Zion. And Holyfield wins. Watch the throwback. Everything's going to go to the right. The tackle is going to sneak out as best he can at 312 pounds to the left. And then it's Holyfield getting the left tackle out of bounds. That's good. Illegal touching. Pass was forward. Caught by an ineligible receiver. The try was unsuccessful. So the penalty may decline. The try is no good. We'll see. Couple of good guesses on first and 12. King heaves one incomplete. It'll be second down. I think King leads this one a little bit too far out of bounds. Does Pope get his feet in? No possession, no ball. The 13 on third down. Harris swings out, and he dropped it. Not sure he could have made the line. And this is the right play, just poorly executed. The swing screen on the anticipated pressure that Virginia Tech was bringing. It's 10 in this game so far for De'Ara King. The rest of that yard had subtracted via sacks around the edge, almost as if he hurt us that time. Right now it looks like a too high safety look, giving help over the top. First pass of the drive. Swing pass to Mike Harley, stopped short. It'll be a great spot for the Canes on that last play. It looked like he was stopped short instead of first down. King, quick toss. D. Wiggins. Close to another of those edge rushers. Manny Diaz searching for answers on the sideline. King, the RPO, and there's another big play. Mark Pope to the end zone for the touchdown. And the first lead of the afternoon for number nine, Miami. Lashley going to the RPO. The fake inside brings the second level defender up, leaving nobody underneath the slant by Pope. Gaines will go for two after their first play over 20 yards of this game. King will buy some time. End zone and incomplete. Iteration 4.0 on to Corey Couch. As he records his first interception of the season. That ball was tipped. And 
First turnover of the game for either side. Second down and 10 for Miami. King pulls it out. Sandwich between two defenders. Five where Miami scored. They didn't have any negative plays. And Virginia Tech has had a boatload load of negative plays today. Hollyfield has this one. And that design just did not look good. King had a personal protector out. 15, be careful right here if you're King. And King will take off. Stopped well short, but a quality pick. Harris in the backfield. King will run it, trying to get to the edge, and he will not get there. And this is just a buck sweep outside, led by Harris, the running back. But you have a lot of speed, especially on the edge. And that's going to do it. Miami on the road. Improves to 7-1, and one. the final stop by Jalen Phillips, Manny Diaz, all smiles. And the final score, 25-24, to 24, as the U finds a way to win it at Lane Stadium.